Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Today we're going to be taking a look at a little excerpt from an impromptu written by Franz Schubert. Uh, this is Opus 9, number 2 in E flat major. And what I've done is I've transcribed it for the guitar um, and with specifically uh, one goal in mind, which is to work on left hand legato, left hand only legato technique. So it's a very often overlooked approach to playing the guitar and I find it really, really helps me get control of all aspects of, of playing. Because uh, we're gonna need the right hand, not just the left hand in order to mute and keep everything nice and clean. But uh, I will expand a little bit further in due course. But firstly, uh, just a quick reminder, it's 20% off all downloads from my website. So make sure you uh, Head on over there, support your boy and buy some content from there. It's a great way to support what I do so I can continue to make videos like this one. Okay, so let's get straight into it. E flat major, very, very kind of outlandish key for most guitar players. Uh, um, so it's, it's no big deal. You just gotta you practice doing it in various different uh, awkward keys and uh, you know it'll become second nature after a while it's just like anything it will be a, a lot more comfortable for you if you actually face it head on and work on it rather than ignoring it so i kept it in e flat major for that reason okay so we're going to start though we're going to start here at fret 11 of the b okay That's going to be the first section of the piece, okay? So it's a good idea to acquaint yourself with the scale just by playing it through. Okay, uh, just get used to where the scale positions are first. Okay, so let me start. Fret 11, and we're going to play this. We've got an anacrusis, which means we just play a beat before the, the, the following bar. So it leads straight into the first beat of the next bar. So we, in terms of intervals, it's a fifth. So we've got... That's the first beat of the following bar. So we get... Okay, so... Okay, that's the pattern. Okay, good. Um, we're keeping everything, uh, you know, uh, the way it is notated in the score, which is in triplets. So, gotta keep the timing spot on. And it requires really, really good technique to do that. So you, you've really got to prioritize this and focus on making sure your time feel is, is uh, as close to perfect as you can get it. Okay, so... Oh, sorry. Now we're going to change here to the second finger and we get this really nice chromatic. Here. A couple of problems present themselves here. Uh, we can do the regular left hand uh, when we're ascending, hammer on, when we're descending, pull off. So pull off, on, on, pull off, on, on, pull off, on, on. That works great. Uh, but also we can work on hammering on the index finger only. Uh, sorry, hammering on the index finger so we get hammers only for this ascending portion. But it's not easy to keep everything clean. But, you know, work on it. Or... But again, the priority is making sure we're getting triplets. One, two, three, 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 two, two, three, three, two, three, and so on, okay? So. Here we've got to change from three to one, okay?
to enable the next portion, which is this. Whoops, let me do that again. Cuff's getting in the way here. Okay, here we've got a slide. We're sliding into position. Yes, I know um, it's not very pianistic, but we're playing the guitar, so why not embrace the idiosyncrasies of the, the instrument, which do sound really, really good and kind of add to the uniqueness of it. So, uh, ascend. Okay, so once more. One. Slide down, then we're going to hammer onto the G string here. Ascend until we arrive at third. So all together we have. Send. Bang. We repeat the same thing. But here we're going to slide up to here and play this. This, and this sets us up for the portion where we can ascend to an octave higher. So let me do it from here. Slide up. Ascend. And here we got the third degree and we're going to continue playing the same line just an octave higher. So same thing but we're now on the D string. Okay, <laughs> I love this bit. Obviously got to keep it clean. Continuing on. Now this bit's quite interesting. I could have done this. That's perfectly fine, but I changed it to this. Two, two here. So two on the G string, two on the B. Just my personal choice, but do whatever the hell you like. Okay, so from here. Ascend. Two. Ascend again. Bang! And we're here. <laughs> Same thing again. You might, on the repeat, you might want to mute it just for it to add a bit of difference if it's exactly the same thing. So. Continue on. Continue on. I can't speak. And then it finishes there. So let's just do it nice and slowly all together. And watch out for the second finger here. Whoops. That was quite messy, so. Ascend an octave higher. Same thing. Ascend again, repeat.
That's it. Make sure you get it cleaner than me. That was a bit messy. It's uh, rather unlike me, actually. But, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm so sorry I'm not perfect. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. I will probably add the, the backing track on the end of this video so you can practice. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, like the video, subscribe and leave a comment below if you feel like it. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.